Good morning, everybody. Once again, here I am, half asleep. <sighs> you know I love you. I've just, um, was, um, watching a couple of my, my readers, my guides, my beautiful goddesses, you know, tapping in the spirit. Let me know what's up. I always appreciate the guides. Oh, um, I do want to talk about one thing real quick. I was, I teased my father in my last video about being a penny pincher. He's actually been very amazing lately, which I love. He, his, his, his wife passed away and she was, she was something else. And I'm not going to say anything ill about the dead, but, but for example, when I was stuck in Arizona and I needed help, she refused to help me. And he went along with what she said. So that was the kind of energy he was surrounded by. But he's been very generous lately with me. He actually bought my tires for my vehicle, which I'm going to throw out there right now. If anything was a penny pincher, it was my mom. That woman, I couldn't call her to ask her for anything, and I never would. But she would, if I, when I did call her, just like once a year, just to, you know, let her know I still loved her. I, I would never, she would make sure, she would make a point to let me know how poor she was. That's how the kind of woman she's like. Oh, just tell you, I'm. T it's rough all over. I'm. I. I would love to help you. I'm like, woman, I didn't ask you for damn money. Just shut up. But just so you know, I love my father, and he's been very helpful lately, and I love that about him. So, and that'll be the end of that. Moving on. Uh, I've been talking about some heavy stuff, but like I said, man, you know, God's gonna use me, and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the work, and I'm not sure exactly what that work is. Primarily, <laughs> I'm going to keep doing my art. I'm going to keep selling. I'm going to keep thinking positive. I'm going to keep you positive. I'm going to keep telling you how much I love you. Because I do. And God loves you and the universe loves you. And we'll get to that later too. And I want to talk about... I'm, I'm alone. I've been alone for a long time. I mean, my whole life. Come on now. My story's always been more comfortable alone just because of the toxic human beings around me. I mean... Like family members that were envious of me and I didn't even know it and put, keeping me down without, I mean, I was just ignorant to that. I was, I'm, I'm about love, right? So I, I assume these people are my family. They're going to raise me up and, you know, like Simba, right? You're going to, you know, show the tribe the new child and love it and nurture it. And that didn't happen, man. My power was evident apparently from the beginning and people just smashed that shit. Didn't want nothing to do with it. Didn't want me to grow. Didn't want me to glow. And that was tough. And I learned and I grew from that. I accepted the fact that you can't trust everybody, even if they're blood, right? So, you're my blood. You're my family. You're my tribe. And I'm here to help you in any way I can. You know, I'll talk about my travels and tips on surviving and wool blankets and maps and definitely lots of water. And I'll try to be there. You know, I want you to see what I'm going through because it ain't easy. And, and I think you are you have the strength. It's just you got to pull yourself up and you just got to love man telling you i cannot stress your self-love enough i can't because that's the beginning and that's where they get you they get you in the beginning with that lack of self-love they say okay we're gonna make sure this motherfucker don't ever love themselves because they do they glow up and they're beyond us that we can't touch them no more we can't influence them we can't tweak that shit because they, they they're in the light god is being they're being protected by god they're being protected by their ancestors i want my grandmother to look down on me and shine and say that that boy's doing good my art's good, you know, I'm treating people well, I live in the light, I treat everybody I meet as my best, I tell people, to, to love yourself is to treat everybody you meet as your, as the love of your life, I know it sounds kind of cheesy, and I'm not talking about, I'm platonically, but yeah, you treat, if you treat everybody you meet like the love of your life, you're going to glow up so quick, and people are going to just adore you. Because they, even people that don't like you, even people that don't want to like you, they're going to say, damn, this motherfucker is so bright and he loves me so hard. I ain't got a choice. You know? Whew. See how emotional I get when I talk about that kind of shit. But it's important because we live in some times where there's some evil running around and they're doing some evil shit. And we got to stand up to it. And I'm going to talk to power. I'm going to talk, you know, I'm going to speak up to it. And it ain't about color. It's about energy. It's about love or hate. You either love or you hate. That's it. That's how, you know, I had somebody told me 
wants to, it's not all black and white, it's, there's gray and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no. When it comes to truth, it, 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 there ain't no gray. You either know the truth or you just manipulating some shit. And she was a manipulator. Too bad. She's a beautiful person. She's got power. Everybody has power. Everybody has abilities. But most people are so 3D, they ain't, they're they never going to tap into that shit. And if they do tap into it, it's all negative and it's all bringing other people down or manip- what they can get from other human beings, which is just bullshit. <sighs> but, you know, I love you. And that last video was funnier than hell, man. That little guy. He acted like that dollar was going to last me a month. Man, I was going to buy me a steak dinner and a hotel room for the night or some shit. Man, I love old people. Sometimes they're cute. Sometimes they're really sweet. And sometimes they're just some just some ornery fuckers, right? When you get old, don't lose your love, man. Don't lose your passion for life, man. Don't Just because you see your life ending, don't look at it as the end. Just look at it as like, what can I teach on my way out, right? That's how I feel. Look at this gray hair, right? Look at this gray I plan on shaving and looking 20 years younger. And you're going to be, you go to my past videos, like when I paid my respects to my grandma. I look good. It's all shaved up and stuff. You know, I can look at least 35, right? I look about 60 right now, but you know what I mean? So, <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to talk about me, but you know, I just want you to love yourself because you're awesome. And um, what else? There's real stuff. Educate yourself. Um, I'm alone for a lot of reasons, primarily to protect my energy. I was told to get on the road and do my thing and just and hide. I'm not so much hide. Really, really protect myself. Really watch who I allow in my circle, who I allow in my space. Because every there's a lot of vampires out there. A lot of people just want to suck your energy and leave you dry. And that was my whole life. And I didn't understand that, man. I was just constantly having tower moments. Constantly just falling flat on my face. And, and nobody to pick me up. And I'd, I'd crawl back out of that shit. And then the minute I did, somebody come by and kick me in the fucking teeth. And I was like, damn, dude. I just got out of that motherfucking hole, right? So... I'm just not allowing anybody my energy right now. You know, it's not about being selfish or conceited or anything. It's just, it's just, it's rough out there. And, and when people don't know what they're doing and they got power, they just, it's like children in the, you know, going into town with guns, just shooting the place up and don't realize where the bullets are flying and, you know, just no responsibility. And it's important. You got to take responsibility for your power, your energy and your love or your hate, which is terrible. Don't hate, don't live in hate. That's what the bad guys are doing. We got to counteract that stuff. So I'm going to glow. I'm going to, um, I had an, uh, got some advice from a gentleman called Scrapper and he is, and, <laughs> and, and he talked, told me about the slab city down south, a little south of Salton Sea. And I was checking that out and, you know, and I don't, you know, I don't know how the dynamic is there. Like I said, I got to protect my energy and even artists, you'd be surprised how many artists are narcissistic assholes. I found that out the hard way because I, you know me, I'm I'm an artist and I assume every artist is just glowing, is 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 running on light, is thinking positive, but there's some en- envious motherfuckers out there. I hate to say it. I mean, when I see somebody's art and I I think it's just amazing. I'm like, damn. I just I'm in awe. I don't sit there and go, damn that bastard. I can't wish I could do that. I just like because no, mine's special. My art is different. It's unique. You know. So I I just take I take comfort in. You know, my my ability to finger paint and to create something beautiful out of nothing. Like a magician. You're just like, it's like using clay and making a sculpture, right? You're just taking, you are a magician in a lot of ways. Because you're using, you're taking elements of earth and you're creating these, you know, masterpieces of beauty. And that's, you know, that's something special. It takes energy, it takes effort, it takes love, it takes time, work. Whew. And I want to do that. I'm going to continue to do my art. I'm not going to let, you know, people snubbing their nose at it when they walk by to disart me. Because I know children love it. And that was the thing. I was like, why do children always love my art when a grown adult just walk by and disdain, right? It's because those children are tapped into the light. They, they don't live in love. They don't understand this hate and division. They ain't, they ain't there yet, right? They haven't been beat up by the world. So they're still pure. And they see the, they see the, the love in my art. And they're like, yeah, there's one little girl walk by. Your bird is beautiful. I'm like, thank you. It's like that's the kind of that's the kind of reaction you should get from everybody. But children, like I said, children, a lot of times aren't aren't you know corrupted in by the hate and the bullshit, and and that's why they should be protected. And that's why I'm fiercely, whoo, I'm fierce about 
you know, people hurt children in so many ways, and they are right now. There's the pe people in power, the globalists, they are, they are evil human beings. If they're even human, if they're not just demons from hell. These are humans that would hurt children and, and not give a damn. And they would use them. And that's just some horrors. I can't, I can't stand by and, and just not do nothing. And I've had to heal myself. This, this journey I've been on was about self-heal. I didn't understand it. You know, I was told to get the fuck on the road. I was told to buy this. These are all like things. I just, it was like this inner desire that you got to go. This is, it's like you, when, 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 when God and the spirits touch you and the universe is telling you to go somewhere and they're giving you the signs, you get the fuck on. You do what you got to do. Trust the plan. Trust the universe. Trust God's will. And, and it'll turn out right. I was, you got to be kidding me. I've never been homeless before running around, but I've, I mean, I've always been alone and I've always been kind of couch surfing and figuring my way out. But, but to be just, you know, you're going to go halfway across the country and, and not know if you're going to be stuck there and you know what you're going to do and how you're going to live. And, and I just had faith and I, I just hauled ass and, and it's been nothing but an amazing experience. And this past year has been amazing. And my videos are a documentary of that growth and <laughs> it's, it's pretty awesome. And like I said, I'm going to keep having faith and I'm going to keep pushing on and I'm going to keep doing what I got to do. And hopefully I, I get enough food. I'm not worried about the food. I ain't worried about that. I'm just I'm just worried about you. And I want you to glow. And I want you to, to grow. And I want you to be special. And I want you to love yourself. Let's just worry about loving yourself. And like I said, when you love yourself, you do not accept the bullshit from anyone. You won't get, you won't allow people to hit you. You won't be, allow people to sexually abuse you. You won't allow people to uh, use you in a workplace. Like I've been, I've been used my whole life working. I'm a badass worker. I will bust ass. I've never had nothing but compliments from every job I've ever been on. Like my last job, I was not the last one, but the one before. I was doing an irrigation for a hemp grow. And the, the investors, the people were throwing millions of dollars into this you know, project were raving about my abilities and the fact that we were getting it done so fast. The guy, Monty, that was the engineer, he was doing nothing but talking me up to these people. He was like, this guy is just ridiculously just on. I had, I had the, the Mexican migrant workers that were planting the field asking who I was because they were like, dude, you are a hard worker and they don't like white people. Trust me, there's a lot of prejudice, and it's sad, but it's the way they believe and they feel. They were told that all white people are evil, like this this whole new fucking thing they're trying to teach at school. It ain't about color, and it's about, it's about belief, it's about love. And if there's just a majority of white assholes out there compared to all the other assholes, that's just how it is. But, yeah, Biden's an asshole. Mm -hmm. White as fuck, man, like ghost motherfuckers. Pence, all them motherfuckers, they're all evil bastards. But yeah, so I'm not going to that, but we're gonna we're gonna live in the light. We're gonna fight them with our love, with our glow, and blind the fools. You know what I mean? I don't know. I ramble. <laughs> I try not to think about that stuff too much because I'll get a little pissy and I'll be like, Rrr. but anyway, I like Fauci, piece of shit, torturing animals. Ooh, don't mess with my puppies, babe. I will put foot in ass with love and light. Anyway. I'm going to let you go. This is just a video to let you know I love you. And work, don't give up. You know, you got this. Love yourself. Find a way to love yourself. Realize that the people around you are toxic. That are putting you down. Keeping you down. Rise above that shit and get on. Just if you have to be alone for a minute, don't be scared. Because you're going to find people that are going to love you. They're going to find people that are going to just see that light inside you. And not try to dim it. Try to put shade on it. But they're going to add fuel to the fire. They want to see you grow. They're going to say, oh, I want to see what you can do. Here's some money. Go out there and create, right? That's the kind of people you want to be surrounded by. People that are going to appreciate you and love you. And they're out there. Not everybody's a bad person. I don't even buy that shit. Most people are decent. Most human beings on this earth are just want to be loved, just want to have safety and comfort and have some food in their belly and maybe have some coin in their pocket and some entertainment and maybe a vehicle and a place they can lock a door and be safe at night. That's it. There ain't no grand scheme of of oppression and you know slavery but slavery's out there and guess who's running that shit it ain't it ain't you and me it ain't normal folk it's the scumbags in charge the people in power the elite the rich the super rich and they're all out there everybody in con dc is just all just it's a swamp anyway <sighs> but god's gonna shine some light and those rats are gonna scurry babe and i can't wait i'm gonna have my popcorn and my chair and i'm just gonna sit back and watch that shit and say mm-hmm 
I was waiting. But anyway, I just want you to have a wonderful day. It's Sunday. Do what you got to do. Find your place. Meditate. Love yourself. Take a hot bubble bath for me, please. Cause, damn, I'm going to need one. Anyway, I love you. God loves you. And the universe loves you. And I'm such a flirt. So I'm going to say I love you, kid. Anyway, have a wonderful day, okay?